Hi everyone, this is Ben from Themeco. Welcome to this first video in a short series about working with backgrounds in the Content Builder. In this series, you'll learn about background layers and how to configure the responsiveness of an image background on mobile devices. Then I'll walk you through a couple of advanced use cases. Then we'll end the series with a discussion on how to change a video background into an image on smaller devices and why you would want to do that. Let's get started with the first topic, which is about background layers. By default, sections, columns, and rows allow you to set colors as backgrounds. Like in this case right here, I have a section with a colored background. But oftentimes, you'd want to spice up your design by adding either a video background or an image background. To do that, Click on the section first, then check the advanced checkbox just beside the background color. And immediately you'll see two additional options showing up. This, the first one is the lower layer and the other one is the upper layer and the names are self-explanatory. So let's go to the lower layer first and we'll click this third icon here which signifies a background image. This one is the background video and we'll just use a background image at this moment okay so i'm going to choose a background an image from my library and insert it and there you have it you already have an image as a background and if i want to use a video i'll just click this and uh, enter the url of the video so i have one here already i'm going to paste that and it immediately gets added as a background okay so for for this example I'm I'm just going to use an image okay so we have the image now and you'll notice that it is hard to read this so the solution that I I will be using is to add an overlay so to do that I'll choose the upper layer and I'll use color and this is this second uh, icon here means color and yeah right there I already have it pre-selected but I can choose another one let's say I want to use um, this one and just lessen the opacity to give it a see-through kind of effect so there you have it and you can also use the, the reverse of it that means you can use a background color for the lower layer and an image on the upper layer and let me show you uh, an example of it so let me choose a brick image i have a brick image here which is kind of a pattern and i'm going to use that for my upper layer and here it is pixelated and stretched i can make this a bit smaller i'm going to try to use the size of 200 px instead of cover okay okay it's just about uh, about 300. okay i think that's perfect then i want it to repeat uh, on the vertical side or and the horizontal side as well so I'm gonna use both for the repeat okay perfect now since this is a see-through image I can add a background color and this time it is on the lower layer so I'm going to I can dictate the color of the image and I'm gonna choose let's see I can use black okay black and it gives the color of the brick to black i can make it blue and whatever color i want so the, there you have it you can use a different combination or various combinations with the background layers and i hope you found this helpful 